This is John Perkins. Hi, I'm Craig Bell. In the rush of a last-minute Christmas shopping, a woman bought a box of 50 identical greeting cards. Without bothering to read the verse inside, she hastily addressed all of them, but one she stuck aside. Several days after she had mailed them, she came across the one card she had stuck aside, and she looked at the message, John, and she was horrified to read. It said, this card is just to say, a little gift is on the way. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Merry Christmas, John. Merry Christmas. Hey, here's what it was all about right here. Luke chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was the governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. A lot of times we think things that aren't really in the Bible, you know, that we hear, we sing about them. It doesn't say the angels sang. Did you notice that? Yes. It says the angels said. Sometimes we sing, hark the herald angels sing, right? But if they didn't sing, they said, but maybe they sang. I don't know. We could use our imagination. Sorry to ruin your Christmas carols, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What a story, Brother Craig, of the way that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came into the world. What a humble beginning. Yes. Can you imagine being the shepherds on the field at night and seeing those angels? Yeah. I noticed in uh, that reading, Brother Craig, in the 11th verse, he said to the shepherds there, he said, unto you is born this day in the city of David, Christ which is the Lord. So he was born for them. He was born to us. He, he made it personal right there. Personal and to the common people, wasn't it? Just the shepherds, you know, yeah. could have said to the kings, but then you know, the shepherds, I mean, that would be the, the, the low jobs of the day. You yeah. know, the common people, the people who are out working in the factories, digging the ditches, you know, picking up the trash, uh, you know, the, the things that, that we do as common people. That's us. Yes, and that and that's that's who Jesus came for. That's who Jesus was. You know, we we read about the birth of Jesus Christ. They laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the end. What a humble beginning. Yes, and we actually see today, John. It seems like there's no room for him now, is there? No, it it seems like we don't have time for him. And no room in our calendars. No room in our in our homes. No room in our lives. We're so crowded. You know, no time to get to church. Of course, Easter and Thanksgiving is the only time some people show up. Yeah. One lady told her pastor at the door on Easter Sunday, she said, I'm not coming back anymore. She said, every time I come, you either sing, oh, holy night or up from the grave he arose. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only uh, day she showed up. Yeah. On. But Brother Craig, what a, what a humble beginning, our Lord. You know, God is God. He could have came any way that he wanted. He could have made his son of God bro down on a cloud. He could have made him any way that he went, but he chose a humble beginning to come in the flesh of a man, in the flesh of a human, to come and it wasn't even in the best of the room. It wasn't even a little hotel or a motel. It was laying in a manger in Bethlehem. Stinky, dirty. Yeah. Not nice, not great. Yeah. You know, I think even our nativities are guilty of making it look prettier than it really was. Yeah. Right? So probably a dirty, nasty, not a sanitary place. You yeah. know, you'd think surely as a mom giving birth, this is not the place. You know, it's not clean. It's not, not a great place to be. And you know, John, even though it was a common stable, nor ordinary people, it became a holy place. Exactly. It's good to remember that God can use common people in common places and turn them into holy things. Amen.
What a wonderful story, John. And we have a special message from all of our family today. From all of us here at Take 5, we'd like to wish you a... Merry 